All right, what is up, you guys? This is Jason once again, and today I'm just gonna show you what I've been playing lately, and two more other things. I'm gonna show you how I set up my Xbox Wire controller to use with this PC game, and it does work for any other game as long as the game is capable of it. And I'm kind of give my review on this controller. It's actually the Xbox 360 um, Afterglow controller. It is wired. Uh, and I'm going to show it to you right here. This is it. Mine's exactly like that. And the lights are bright as hell on that thing. You cannot play with the lights on. It's too distracting. And my opinion on the controller is I bought it and used it a couple times. And that was it. I was done with it. I don't like the way the joysticks move compared to an, a regular Xbox controller. They just suck. Or either I couldn't get used to it. Who knows, you might like it. Okay, to get the... In, this works for any wired Xbox 360 controller, actually. You just need to download the drivers. The link will be in the description. You can download these directly from Microsoft. This is the link. You just go to support, download, select your operating system, and install the file. Um, it shouldn't take but a few seconds to install. Once you install it, plug your controller in, and it should your PC will recognize the controller. And hit the guide button on your controller, and a Xbox notification will pop up on your screen. And that's about all you need to do to map the controls. You can hopefully you can do it within the game that you want to play. But if you can't, then you're going to have to use Xpatter, a program that is actually free that you can map the controls with. Okay, this is the game. That is actually my name. I'm like level 12. This game is completely free to play. You can download and log in right now and play. Um, you can run. This game does run on shittier PCs. You can set the settings to low and still play. I actually play on low myself and it still looks pretty good. Okay, I've already got Battlefield open right here. And you want to go to your options and this is where you'll map your controls at. It's fairly easy. You just hit forward and obviously I want to go forward with the left joystick so I just move up and that's it. I have it. fucking shitty dogs in their bargain <laughs> that threw me off oh well I'm gonna keep on doing this anyway fuck it and you will just you can set up your controls however you would like them to be used you know if you want to jump with the damn left trigger you can jump with the left trigger I also recommend upping your sensitivity and pitch factor they seem to help a lot it takes it's gonna take a good bit of getting used to before you can actually get good with this or at least that was my settings or whatever but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and this is my setup and stuff you can have up to two characters for free I think you actually have to pay for the to add more slots I have this is the one I usually use it's a recon of course I love to snipe and the gun I use is the M95. I actually bought this permanently. So I can just keep it all the time, you know. It's a damn good sniper rifle. Um, yeah, and I bought the pistol, which is very good. <coughs> and as you can see, you can do tons of other stuff. Training. I actually would wish I would have spent my points better, but you know, just starting out, I didn't realize that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into a game here. Let you see me get raped. I think my controller is plugged up. I probably just messed my settings up. Actually, I think I did. Oh well, we'll see. Oh shit, blunt force trauma server very cool name <laughs> this is a pretty good map It's very small compared to every other map on this game or any battlefield game mm -hmm. 
you know, before this starts, you gotta realize I am not good at this game. I rare, I haven't played it nowhere near as much as I've played Call of Duty, but I do like this game a lot. It does take some getting used to. Oh, we're dropping frames. Yeah, trying to do too much here. Let me actually close out something. Ah, oh, come on, it's not gonna let me. Okay. Okay, we'll just keep playing. Yeah, this is kind of weird. Talking while playing. <laughs> oh. Oh, we hit. Nice. One thing about the sticks is you have to to aim in. You have to click in and click out. It's not like Call of Duty where you can click it and release. You know. See, I can't even hardly aim with this controller. No, <laughs> just not even used to this at all. I actually probably going back, go back to playing this with the keyboard, uh, the keyboard and mouse. I was actually getting used to that. Ah, got owned. Okay, that's enough of that. Yeah, as you can see, the controller works. It works with any wire controller. And I thank you guys if you're still viewing this. And you just saw me get wrecked. Later.